probably one of the main things about kids who have OEIS is because the lower half didn't form correctly, their, their bladder and their um, intestines, they come down to one opening. And so everything comes out this one opening. And so they have to create a colostomy. And so with her, um, her colostomy will be permanent. She'll have it for the rest of her life. So that's a big thing that, that we deal with every day is taking care of the colostomy, changing it, making sure that nothing's leaking all over, or, um, that she's okay with it. She's older now. Um, and so being three, she will actually tell me, mom, mom, you know, bag. And she doesn't like when it gets full and she's very aware of it. And so we have to make sure that it's taken care of and that she's clean and, and she's okay. Um, the other thing is because her bladder, because she has the bladder extrophy, her bladder is also not formed correctly and she has a lot of kidney problems and bladder problems. And so at this age, they, they don't really do anything. She just constantly leaks all the time. And so she's three and she wants to be potty trained, but because she has no muscle control and no way to control that, she has to wear diapers or, or pads or pull-ups or different things. And so it's, it's kind of hard because she wants to be like everyone else, but she can't be like everyone else. And so I have to teach her that, you know, this is how we have to do things and this is different. Um, as she gets older, they will, uh, eventually they'll probably close the bladder off and then she'll have to learn to catheterize um, her bladder so that she can stay dry. But for now, because they want her to grow and get bigger, um, we just have to do, we're inventive. We, um, we've made different kinds of underwear that she can wear that we put pads in and, and it's a constant having to just make sure that she's, she's take care of that way. Um, she also had, because of this condition, um, her, her large bowel didn't form correctly and it also affects her small bowel and so she doesn't grow very well. She's about the size of an 18 month old right now, even though she's three. And so um, she's had feeding a feeding tube put in and we've had to do constant pump feedings and night feedings. And um, it was a struggle at first just to get her to eat normal. We were getting now where she eats everything everybody else does and she doesn't realize that that there's really anything wrong with her. Um, she also has the spinal defects, which is probably the biggest thing that affects her right now because she her spinal cord tethered at one point and it caused a spinal stroke. And so she has weakness all down the right side, which has caused her to um, crawl later. She can't stand on her own. She has gotten where she can walk with a walker but she doesn't like to walk with a walker because it's too slow for her. So she wants to crawl everywhere. Um, and so I'm constantly working with her. Okay, we gotta try practicing walking. We have to get you up. Um, she's just started preschool and she goes twice a week. And being around other kids where she's in a wheelchair, it's kind of hard for her because she just wants to go do what she wants to do and she can't understand why, why she has to be in a wheelchair or why she can't just crawl across the floor and play with everything like everyone else does. And of course she's a typical three-year-old too, so we have the typical three-year-old tantrums on top of that. We've learned that it's okay to get second opinions because it is such a rare condition that we have had to go seek out specialists in OEIS. And so we've actually, she's had surgery out at Johns Hopkins um, because the urology department out there specializes in this condition. And then she's also had surgery in Denver because the um, colorectal department out there has specialists in this department. And it's kind of, it's kind of hard to know what's going to happen next with this condition because she does need lots of surgeries to correct things, but it's kind of a wait and see 
game to, well, we'll wait and see what happens as she grows. We'll wait and see when she's older to do something. And so we never know what's going to happen with her. It's just kind of plugging along, doing the best we can.